How's it going down ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls alike? like this is Dolphin Square here and welcome back to another episode of the VGC 2016 growth from 100 to 1 to the, this week featuring Black Children. Last time we came up with a uh, one new win and uh, disconnects unfortunately that tons we avoided but today we are going to go ahead and keep on bringing our, bringing our rankings back to track at least. Uh, honestly though, I probably would have fun with this team more <laughs> if the last opponent. Well, grumblings aside, let's just leave that leave that train aside. We are going to go ahead and continue our challenge on the board. And it looks like we did get a win from the last battle, so that makes it too new, actually. Excuse me. I just ate before I recorded this. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see who's our first opponent for today and we shall carry on from there. We have Denver, oh, from Singapore, we're rating uh, 15 14. And it looks like a pretty standard team with Kangaskhan, Xerneas, Kyoga, Salamence, uh, Sizzle and Thunderous. Okay, it certainly looks like a pretty fun team to use, perhaps. I can definitely see him bring Kangaskhan Zonias or Kangaskhan Salamence or Kangaskhan. Uh, Thunderous, but assuming that his Megas are either Kangaskhan or Salamence, I think that's going to be quite interesting. We're going to go with Mian Chao and Talonflame, my favorite leads. And at the back, I would definitely want to bring Kira. And Kyoga. Yeah, I think that should be a better call. Let's see how we actually fare against the Singaporean player because, last as I know, I do not really fare against Singaporean players. But we're here just for fun. Let's see, Kangaskhan Kyoga. So why out the bat against a lead like that? I wonder if he will recognize the white god threat though. I'm gonna go and go for hmm. Might actually go straight for Kyoga this time because of the water spout. Damage and I'm going to go ahead and protect uh, Talon Flame just because. Yes, I do see a water spout. Of all the times that I play against Singaporeans, I've seen what uh, Kyoga use water spout almost all the time. Here goes Mega King is gone. Coming true. And Telephone uses Protect, which means we'll probably be able to get into turn 2. Drain Punch onto Kyoga, weakening its. Skull. Ooh, double target into Talonflame, huh? Okay, okay. Uh. Not too sure how that turned out for him, but I'm going to say he is probably. I think Channel Flame is faster. So I'm going to go straight for the Dream Punch on the Kangaskhan, and then let's see what he actually uses on Kangaskhan itself. 
Let's me first. It's a risky move, I gotta say. It does look like he is going to use a double egg. But that would guarantee a KO for sure. And that's one mega down. And good job, Talonflame. Okay, let's go ahead and bring Kirim up on board. And what does he put? Oh no. Zonius, Zonius, Zonius. Ah! Uh, really? Terrible's not going to care a thing about uh, everything. A set. I'm not too sure if. Well, Terrible only negates things like Levitate or Heat Proof, stuff like that. So it looks like I'm probably going to fall here. Might as well get some damage off though. Gonna go with uh, standard rock slide. And I think Kyogre is going to protect. So we got that. And I'm going to go ahead and fusion bolt onto Xerneas. Try to get some damage off onto him. Kyogre is going to protect. Okay. Make sure you use the rock slide. Connect, please. Alright, there we go. If we get a flame, it'll be double. Ooh. He's going straight for the kill, huh? Yep, he did read that. So, that's going to be fun playing with Kyogre. Probably should use the white guy right by now, shall we? And then let's go ahead and water spouts here. Let's go and show for the chaos, huh? Well, there goes Joe Mancy. That is probably one of the weaknesses of this team right here. I probably should have expected him to bring Xerneas. Skull coming right up. And what is about launching? It's probably not going to do anything at all though. Okay. Well, I might as well protect Kyogre with whatever's to come. And I'm going to go ahead and launch. It's not going to be full power though. So that's my concern. Let's try this gold zone. Let's try to get. Of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> ah. Xerneas, Mirgo, Groudon, Kyuga, Kangaskhan. I think that's about it. Alright, good games, buddy. It'd be interesting to face another Singaporean, actually. Dan Ver. How come I don't see a name like that on the in Singapore tournaments, huh? But anyways, that's not a shabby match. I should have brought Mawa instead of uh, Black Kurim. That probably is a better play. So we got that. Well, sometimes you win some, you lose some. So I guess that's understandable considering that I'm against... Oh. 
No, Japanese, uh, Japanese you already on 1568. Lumion? What are you doing here? We got, we have, uh, Kyoga, we have Groudon, we have, uh, I guess that's Luminion? I can't remember exactly the name of it, but I think his strategy is... This guy's strategy is probably a Swiss swimmer. Yeah, I think that's it. It's going to be a Swiss swimmer. So we have Crobat and we have Thunderous as well. In the mix, so... This is going to make things really complicated. But that's alright. Let's go ahead and bring... Talent Flame and Mian Chao. And uh I wanna say I wanna play around with the weather, but it seems like Cresselia and Kirin would probably be the better play here. Playing around with Trip Room if uh, things didn't go well. So we got that. Would Kirin be a good idea, however? Probably not, but my one wouldn't be a good idea, and I don't want to play with weather against a double primal scheme. After all, I do know how double primers work. Alright, let's see what our Japanese friend actually brings along. So definitely going to bring along that fish. And one of the bad, it looks like we are dealing with quite a situation. Let's see what he does. I'm going to go ahead and protect here. And I'm going to go ahead and take out at least one of them. If we put double protect, so that would be good. And there we have. Completely free turn, and we still be a turn one situation. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick out Kyogre because of his offensive threat. Scald on the Scald on the town play, huh? Okay. I kinda wish I can use me first now, but I guess not. Okay, what do I wanna do? I wanna tailwind and I want to set up. Let us go ahead and put that Nian shall I say? I wanna KO something. That's why got away. Okay, he decides to protect his uh, Kyoga, which is totally fine. I did review that Skull on the Minion and Kyoga has. Yeah, good job, Teleplane. Kyoga has protect. Which is naturally. Okay, let's see what we are gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and fusion bolt onto you, and then perhaps use the drain punch onto Luminion. If we protect, so that'll be okay. Not to show why you did that though. Again, bring a ground on, of course. Should have seen that coming too. I mean, Japanese are so used to every Pokemon now that it's very hard to actually face them. I see when ah okay.
Okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, let's uh, power on to ground on. And I'm gonna say walks like here now. Slowing down them just enough so that you'll be able to do any damage. Smart move though. I expect an ice beam, but okay. I mean, the reason why I'm going for rock slide right now is hopefully you do some damage. Uh, if Brandon decides to protect, I get free damage of uh, Luminion. And I also get a chance of flinch, so that's that. Really? I'm gonna play the Switch game here right now, aren't you? Okay. Protect, alright. He's probably gonna scout me out. What moves I got. And I'll power onto you. You can see, we'll know, he does know that I have both. I have answers to both. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Do this, I'm going to put that, and I'm going to go ahead and Dream Punch onto the Kyoga spot. Yet, mmm. Damn, and he got the bone. Huh. You know, at this point in time, I might as well just... You know it's like a white god, so that's a problem. Then it says Dream Punch into something. Try and get the burn onto Q... And there's a crit. Yes, he is trying to knock out. Yeah, he is trying to knock out QM right now. But with that, I think I probably have taken care of you, Luminion. Oh, that is that experience drop though. Alright, uh, you're gonna come out wherever you Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and switch into Celia. And Min Shao. At this point in time, Mancha is probably not going to do anything much anyway. He is. I'm facing up against a very smart opponent. If he picks up, uh. Mancha, there will be free damage. Icicle Crash, okay. Not me and Chow. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Ice beam onto you. Which is completely fine. But I'm at a disadvantage where my QM is going to be KO. So I'm going to go ahead and... Trick room up and protect he protects here. At this point in time, I think it's pretty much a good game. He really played really well. I gotta say, considering that 
My QM isn't. That's right. That's right. Faint. Good games. Not even a flinch. Wow. Ah. Uh, this is why. This is why this meta game isn't that fun, though. They got so many weathers, and you got primal weathers to worry about, and you got fake up pressure, you got the speed. Hmm. Probably not a good idea to. Anyways, a bit cut there, but honestly, I find that their opponent really play really well. He has literally neutralized my black QM's play. I could have wins with uh, Luminion, but. Honestly, playing around with primal web uh, with double primals is a lot of fun. It's probably a, the more versatile in terms of restricted Pokemon, but that's completely fine. Uh, I kind of just made myself uncomfortable with that, really. So, I mean, I didn't make a mistake on assuming that Japanese people play every day just to get to and just to. Be ready for woes, and honestly, I have no idea that they are playing for points. Honestly, they're playing for yeah, probably the only country that play for points on this special ladder, so that they will be able to go to woes. Which is probably they probably have the best out of all of us, considering that it's everyone has to race uh, for points with. Uh, I mean, honestly, Japanese people have been lucky. They have online competitions, they have uh, international challenges and tournaments as well, which we both have. So, honestly, can't be too upset about that. He really wins for the fans, and yeah, I did not see that. I honestly do need a lot more practice if I were to play pro at VGC at this point in time. Probably not. Okay, enough of lamenting right now. Before the plane comes back, thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this episode, go ahead and leave a like in the video. Comments in the comment section below, as well as share with your friends and family. I greatly appreciate the support for this week. So, we're going to continue down this road with Black QM for another couple more days before we switch on to a new team. That's how we're going to do it for this format. I'm really excited to bring what's to be to the table probably after this week. So anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching again, and this is Dolphin Squid here signing out. To you guys, stay sharp, have fun, and enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye everyone.